Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Pranothi Hiramath. I'm a cardiology fellow at Johns Hopkins currently, and I'm here with Dr. Venu Menon, professor of medicine and director of the cardiology fellowship program at Cleveland Clinic. Welcome, Dr. Menon. It's great to be here. Uh, you gave a wonderful talk this morning about critical care cardiology and escalating care, and I was wondering if you might share with the rest of the fellows around the nation the key points and highlights of your talk. Yeah, you know, uh, this morning's session on shock had uh, multiple case scenarios, and mine was about when to escalate uh, support in cardiogenic shock. And clearly, this is an exciting area because when I was in training, we did not have any devices apart from the intraaortic balloon pump. And now, um, we know that while the intraaortic balloon pump may have a few remaining niches, when you really need support, it just can't provide you the cardiac output and support that you require. And with the availability of impellers and ECMOs in all our ICUs, these devices now give us an opportunity to support uh, the hemodynamics in the setting of a catastrophic acute insult uh, and allow us to bridge patients and make decisions in them in a much more meaningful manner. So what I mean by that is in the past um, uh, people would, by the time you made a decision, there was always already enough end organ injury or liver injury that uh, further interventions would be near futile. But now, uh, because of these devices, while we are even uh, considering whether our patients are candidates for more advanced therapies, these devices are able to maintain hemodynamics, preserve and protect from end organ injury. And so these uh, discussions and these, uh, uh, our ability to intervene in the ICU has changed dramatically as a result. So Dr. Menon, critical care cardiology is expanding as well currently as a field and a lot of fellows have growing interest in this area. What is your suggestion for those fellows? I would encourage all of them to uh, continue and do cardiac critical care because I think it's going to be a, a, a really exploding field. Um, you know, I think that what's happened is our success has caused our patients to live longer and they then represent with really complicated uh, conditions. But those conditions are in the background of multiple comorbidities, renal failure, uh, ventilator issues with severe lung disease disease, other comorbidities. So we really need uh, folks in the CCU who are both experts in acute cardiac emergencies as well as facile in managing other related comorbidities that usually uh, subpopulate this population. And so I think the best way to do that would be for people to do a really excellent general cardiology training program and then spend a year doing critical care because that's what it takes after after general fellowship to sit for the boards uh, and I think uh, all our major CCUs in the future will be run with by people with that kind of training so I think if you ha harbor ambitions of wanting to be um, in working in an ICU environment, seeing cardiology patients uh, who are presenting with acute emergencies, I would strongly encourage that. And there are quite a few programs now around the country that are tailoring their critical care programs, especially for people who've done cardiology to get the additional uh, skills that would make them a very well-rounded intensivists. Thank you so much, Dr. Menon. For more videos like this, please go to youtube.com slash fits on the go.